So I want to create power on the roof with the wind turbine. Put a motor on there and get all that power from the wind. It's great. It just sits up there all day, spins like crazy, creates power. even higher and get more of the wind. There's still trees and everything else. So we're in this desert section. There's still some things that block the wind. So I must be able to now be able to make a decent amount of power. If I had a, a motor that was, didn't need too much torque, so I could just run at the higher speeds, I mean, that must be some power. And that just took me like a day to make those blades and this piece here. The whole thing cost maybe a dollar. And if it could just make power whenever it's windy, that would just be amazing. So this is my little turbine, wind turbine test pole. So I have my wood turbine blades. These are the three blades I built, the first ones. They're going um, very well in the wind here. And then I just have the back, the fin there, to point it into the wind. And I have it on top of an eight foot two by two. And I'm just basically, I have it just on the ground and I'm holding it and things really going. I'm really happy with this little um, wind turbine that I built. So these are um, two by ones. That I took. I added two feet of two by one, so I um, made um, eight inch blades. So this is an eight inch two by one. Um, and I left the back end here so it can be mounted onto this uh, three eighths piece of plywood. And I just put some um, screws in, so two wood screws to hold each blade on. Um, yeah, it worked really well. So I started off with a, a small angle, I think so, 10 degrees, and then it tapers, uh, it twists. And then when it gets to the end, it, it's the whole height of the um, two by one down to the lower corner. And I shape, so what I did is first of all, I shaped these three blades roughly. Um, and then I built this piece with this center hole and I bolted it all together. And now what I do is I take a little piece of wire and put it in the pivot and the heaviest blade goes to the bottom. So now I'm taking more material off. I left the top surface curved. Only the bottom surface is supposed to be curved for an airfoil um, to get that efficiency. Um, so I left the top surface um, pretty fat. So now I can take off material from the blades and I keep statically balancing them until um, they're all balanced and then it won't ro um, vibrate too much. All that vibration is stealing your energy. All right, so I have the wind turbine properly balanced out. So I rode on them like this was the lightest and this is the heaviest. Um, basically you put one blade up and then you let go and it shouldn't rotate even though this is a very low friction um, just a shaft in the wood um, so this is a blade that stays up same with this one it doesn't rotate and this one so it used to be that I would take this number two blade the heaviest I would put it up and I would let go and it would go like this and it would find a, a, the low spot so the wind turbine I made works really well. I sanded it a little bit. Um, it's completely balanced. It can run at very high speeds. Um, so this is just a test. Now I just have a $20 super crappy fan. It's very weak and I'm going to put it on the lowest setting and then we should get this to rotate. So it's on just a metal shaft. So number one. There it goes. So it's startup speed, I don't know, I think it's somewhere around 8 kilometers an hour or something like that. But once it starts going, then it really starts going. Now I have this fan running the wind turbine, and now I'm checking voltage. So the fan is spinning very quickly, it's powering a motor, and I'm checking the voltage drop across that motor. So the highest I saw was 1.96 volts, so almost 2 volts at 20 milliamps. It's quite a bit of power. 